Hey everyone, welcome to RC Foam Fighters Return of the Bullet Plane Part 2. Um, before we get back to the build, I want to go over a few more changes that I'm going to be making to the new bullet plane. Um, since it is made out of EPP and it's much more contourable, I've decided to take a little bit of extra time and shape the fuselage um, to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. Um, also, um, on this model I decided I wanted to have a functional rudder on it to have some yaw control, so we're going to be doing that as well. I think these changes are going to add a little more style to the plane and also make it a lot more fun to fly. Um, so let's go ahead and get back to the build. Alright guys, I got the plane taped together temporarily because I want to do some glide testing. Um, you Normally you want to go about a third of the way back on the wing cord to set the CG for the first toss just to see if you're close. And then you'll have to adjust it until you get the plane where it kind of does a light arc and then lands. You don't want it going down nose first into the ground because that means it's too nose heavy. Um, so I got it set at about seven and a half inches right now. We're going to go ahead and do a couple test glides and see how it goes. Yeah, it looks pretty that looks good. pretty good, man. Yeah. Give me one more. Alright, try to throw it as level as you can. There you go. Oh, like and I'd say that one was just about right. So it looks so pretty good. The CG is pretty good where it is at about seven and a half inches. But I'll double check it when I get back inside. Okay guys, now that we've had a chance to get a good glimpse at how the build is going, let's go over some of the details. I'm very happy with the way that the glide testing went. Um, the plane seemed like it flew really level and it seemed like the KF airfoils were helping it out a lot. 
Um, I'm really happy because I was a little bit concerned about the roll issues that I had with the first plane, but it seems like the KF airfoil has pretty much fixed those problems. Um, as you've seen in the second toss, the plane flew pretty level and kind of came down lightly and landed softly. That's exactly what you're looking for if you're getting into doing some glide testing. Um, as far as I'm concerned, glide testing is the only real way to find out what the true center of gravity is going to be on the plane before you actually go out and fly it. Um, so you want to just start with some weights that are removable that you can put to the nose of the plane and like I said start at about a third of the way back on the wing and move the weights forward or backward depending on what it does. If it's nosing down too much, move the weights farther back or remove some. Um, if, it's if it's tail heavy, the bottom of the plane will come down first and you'll know the no when it starts nosing up that it's tail heavy so you'll need to add a little bit more weight to the front. Um, once you have the center of gravity down then you're good to go. All you got to do is build the plane so that when it's done, the center of gravity is where it was when it flew the best and it should fly right off the first toss. We're going to go ahead and finish the video up here, but before I go, I just wanted to remind everybody, please don't forget to enter RC Foam Fighters August giveaway. Um, it's sponsored by RC Sky Flyers this month. Um, they provided the free EPP foam and carbon fiber to allow me to put together a basic kit of my Sky Fighter version 2 to be given away to one lucky person at the end of this month. So please be sure to enter the drawing. Um, there's more information on our blog. I'll put a link in the sidebar of this video. Um, also, I'm going to put a link to RC Sky Flyers. If you're looking for a good source of EPP, um, please check them out. They're very good people. Thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters. See you guys again soon.